Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and uh, Gemini Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading August 5th to August 11th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are to jump uh, straight away into spread. Oops. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of uh, Gemini week, this is going to be the full card, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the chariot card, followed by the third one which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the six of pentacles, and then the last one that is the guidance card is going to be the eight of swords. <clears throat> A very interesting week, guys. Uh, well, it's because you're going to have the um, the power to make a difference, right? You're going to have the opportunity to start a new life or to start a new beginning or to, to just uh, start doing something to um, not just only to improve your circumstances, to making, um, let's say, a wish come true or a goal starting to take shape. All right, <clears throat> that is very well described in the first couple of cards here. Unfortunately, we do have the uh, the chariot card on a um, on a challenging position, and with the six of pentacles on a positive position, I uh, I don't know um, I don't see the six of pentacles very positive here, and I will tell you why. It's not a bad thing, all right, but it just adds a bit more struggle. Uh, upon your advance, all right? But in the same time, this struggle definitely will worth it. So, uh, before we scrutinize the reading, let's run down the cards one more time. We do have the Fool as the first one, which stands as a topic, followed by the next one, which represents the... Uh, <coughs> uh, the um, Oh, the challenges, and that will be the chariot, followed by the third one, which represents the um, positive aspect, that is going to be the six of pentacles. And in the last one here, it's the eight of swords, which stands for the uh, guidance. All right, so the full card, everybody knows the full card, really. It's about new beginning, it's about new goal, it's about a an idea is start taking shape. However, the full urges you throughout this week to be a rather, rather light-hearted. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the word. It is just it's very difficult to pronounce it. It's to be uh, as well mm, detached, okay? Do not take everything way too serious. The fool is a sign that as you have an opening to make a wish come true, to make an, an idea to be materialized, all right? Or to start a brand new chapter into one's life, it is way too early one to be biased of what kind of difficulties one is going to face along the path or what kind of means one is going to have along the path. But what I can tell you from the next cards that I see, definitely this is a path that it is meant only for you and no one else. So from that being said, 
I could almost say that a um, well, not exactly new relationships, all right, but um, how do I place it? But a uh, relationships which are involving old people are involved here. We're talking about a brand, brand new beginning, all right. Four as a number zero, it's uh, it stands in between two infinities. So this is at the time just before the start, the time where you can keep your dreams run high, all right, and keep your ideas at a, at its peaks because you don't know what is possible and what is impossible, and therefore. You know, you can start, it's not like daydreaming, all right? But it's more like a uh, uh, aiming for the maximum that one thinks one can achieve at that point. Additionally, the four here, uh, it does um, point that you are going to have a, a very mm, carefree tendencies with other people around. There will be a lot of joy and... Uh, a lot of exhilaration when you uh, interact with friends, when you interact with co-workers as well, you know. So it's very advisable throughout this week to spend time with people as much as you can because this, the very least, is going to recharge you with a very positive energy and is going to recharge these people as well with a, a very positive energy. It's like, it's like you, you, everybody acts like a conduit toward a common fulcrum. The accompanied card, wow, look at that, guys. The accompanied card is going to be the King of Wands and the formation, it is active friends. So what the King of Wands is all about, ambition, transforming ideas into powerful actions, powerful drive. So we have the idea here, we have the new fulcrum, we have the new beginning, and that beginning, the more that you are focused on it, the more you have it in your mind, the more ambitious you are going to become, the more positive attitude you're gonna have toward it to a point where you will say, okay, now I am determined enough, and now it's time to transform it into a powerful drive, into a um, undeniable, um, a tendency, if you want to say it that way, where very few can stand in your path. I mean, if someone dares to do so, I'm afraid that they're going to be annihilated, all right? Not, not physically, I mean, but it's just very few have the power to withstand this pure force of yours that you're going to have at your side and that is because do you know why it's because you're going to be sincere you're going to be pure all of your intentions will be deprived from nefarious uh, from a nefarious surreptitious uh, uh standpoint okay and uh, everybody who is sincere everybody who is pure it's uh, simply favored by the universe is favored by fate itself so we go to the challenge here and that is going to be the chariot card so the chariot speaks for singularity the chariot speaks for a hard work so that card itself uh, in this in this particular case of course and also speaks for a preparation so what is the challenge itself? Well, the challenge is the eager, the challenge is lack of patience, the challenge is a determination to do all that thing to chase your goal or rather like to make this advance on your own accord. That is the, that is the challenge because this is how I kind of like imagine it. So let's say you have a goal to become an executive director of a, a certain um, of a certain company all right and now you see that the, the 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 last executive director get fired it's um its pot is open and you have the chance to attack this pot so you do have two ways how you can do it you can either rely on your own personal capabilities or you can try to uh, you can try to win it by using other people's abilities, all right, or the help from other people. Using the second variation, it's definitely going to fail you. You have to count only on yourself. It's all about that. You cannot rely that someone else is gonna do your job for you. Also, the chariot here points that the goal is far from done. I mean, it's going to take more time than you are anticipating. Therefore, this week should be a week where you have to prepare for the jump moving forward instead of making the leap of faith 
throughout the week, 5th of August to 11th of August, because like I said, the more prepared you are, the more means you're gonna have to face the predicaments, because you don't know yet what kind of predicaments you're gonna have. No one knows, okay? Uh, the accompanied card is going to be the Eight of Wands, and uh, the formation is a passive, um, Passive supporters, excuse me here. So with the Eight of Wands, it's it's more like a um, uh, and the Chariot card. It's more like taking new means. Okay, you have to surprise everybody. And I could have said that with the first couple of cards. All right, it's just something that eludes me. Uh, surprise in a sense, surprising with surprising maneuvers, with surprising standpoints, with surprising thoughts, things that nobody see coming. All right, that is also going to be the challenge. The challenge. So you may be more predictable than you think you are. All right, and especially if you do have enemies, if you do have rivals around, you know they will try to use that as an advantage. Therefore, you need to try to try to surprise everybody with with a, a new means of how you achieve things. The next card, it is about the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles is about hierarchy. It's about a, a help, however, help which does not resolve the problem. It only makes it a bit easier for you to go forward, which is another card pointing that should you use other, other people's capabilities and means to achieve the goal, it's not gonna do it, all right? It's only gonna going to postpone the inevitable, but it's it's just you you alone are going to become aware that you are just wasting your time. But in the other um, in the other points of interpretation of the Six of Pentacles, this is a card signifying that whatever this new beginning is all about, that it is given to you by the universe, by the faith, or you name it, or by God, it depends what you believe in. Well, you deserve it, all right? That is the natural unfoldment. It's the hierarchy. So you are climbing the ladder of the hierarchy here throughout the week, August 5th to August 11th, or not exactly climbing, but let's say preparing to start climbing it. The accompanied card is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Uh, formation, passive supporters once again. So with the Tree of Pentacles here, uh, you need to negotiate your way through. It is just what these cards are pointing. And you need to uh, accumulate as much support from the peripheral people as possible. Not help, but support, all right? It is no different than, for example, elections, okay? So let's say, uh, yeah, if that's an election, let's say that you are elected for a governor, all right, or you are elected to become a CEO or something like that, you need to accumulate as much support as you can. But ultimately, you can rely only on your own uh, presence, charisma, um, skills, efforts, and all these kind of stuff. So you have to negotiate your way through, like I said, and win as much support as you can, as much followers as you can, you know, as much allies as you can uh, throughout this week. That is, that is going to be your preparation, all right? So uh, <clears throat> let's say another variation here is let's say that you want to file for a divorce. That is your new beginning. So you're going to be singular, open for new people to make a relationship with, all right? And the more you think about it, the more determined you become and the more positive, uh, with the more positive attitude, you are um, charging yourself for what the life is going to be after you get divorced, all right? And realizing that trying someone to do it for you is not going to make it all right so you will have to do it for yourself however you have to accumulate as much support as you can support from your parents support from her or his parents support from the community friends that you do have all right support from everybody that possibly can support you through this process of undergoing divorce case all right this is just an a and an example guys so this is how the week unfolds for you and the last card which is the guidance here is going to be the Eight of Swords. Well, I do suspect the Tarot through that card. It is because um, there is no fitting card really here. And uh, the card itself appoints that um, this new beginning of yours, I will say it, new beginning of yours, it is the true beginning of yours. What I mean is that, uh, well, it's difficult to explain it really, but the Eight of Swords, it does represent the uh, wider mind. It does present everything that resides outside of the box. It does present recognition of the truth, all right? So 
I will try to explain it with the example of the divorce. Well, as a guidance, this card points that uh, the decision to divorce is the right thing, all right? Or whatever decision you make that involves this new beginning is the right thing and is going to be outside of the box that you had up until this moment. So you have endured that marriage, all right? But now no longer because you recognize that that makes you miserable and you need to look outside of the box to seek your happiness. Or if you are single and you do have someone who proposes you a marriage, you know, that could be the same case. You know, you may be resisting up until this moment, but the more you think about it, the more ambitious you become, the more positive you become for it. And finally, you try to traverse it into a, a powerful drive here, recognizing that this is the thing outside of the box. You have to do something different, just like we said we did different maneuvers. And the last card that we do have, it is the sun, which uh, forms here a active friends. Well, the sun is another confirmation of the natural unfoldment. The sun thrives with the natural flow of events. Also, it does point that outside of the box and extreme energies of growth are, await are awaiting you there. Extreme, uh, not determination, but how do you say it? A, a a positive aspects, I would say. It's very difficult to explain it, really. It's like a, uh, uh, it's like the, the skies darken, which are in the box, are going to be wide open and sunny outside of the box, guys. It does speaks for very good kind of relationships, sympathizing relationships. It speaks for monetary success as well. It speaks for everything that makes you happy. Where you're going to find it? outside of the box that you are living in right now. So that being said, uh, Gemini, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 5th to uh, August 11th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.